pissed. Yo, what is up, guys? Hopefully this time my thing is recording. Because <laughs> I literally explained everything in, uh, like, Spanish and English, and it just wasn't recording, so I'm, I'm tilted on that. But, okay, this video is going to be in Spanish and English. I'm going to be explaining first these, like, things that I know about Gears that really helped me a lot when playing Ranked. And hopefully they help you out too. But I'm going to say both of them in Spanish and English. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. You guys could always skip through the Spanish parts if you guys want to hear that. It's just going to be me repeating the same things that I say in English. Yo, ¿qué tal amigos? Este video va a ser en español y inglés. Voy a decir primero las cosas en inglés y luego las voy a repetir pero en español. Ojalá a ustedes no les cae, no, no les cae mal este video porque por de eso. Si ustedes quieren nomás es esquipear las partes donde hablo en inglés y nomás dejarse donde están. So this first thing is, ha, does, has to do with the flash grenade. So whenever I play King of the Hill, they literally spam it. That's the only thing they spam. And like they would throw the flash and then you'll get flash. Then they'll just push you and you'll die. Because once you get flashed, you can't, you literally can't do anything. You can't shoot back. You can't run away from it. But there's a way you could, I guess, roadie run when flashed that could help you in any situation. So, for example, right? The way to do it, I'm flashed. I will switch cover, mid cover. I would press X to roadie run backwards. Obviously, you don't want to like roadie run forwards because you would just run into him and die. So just go backwards and you'll be able to move away. For example, I throw flash here. I'm flashed. I'm able to roadie run. It helps in every situation. And it's pretty useful in my opinion. Okay, la primera cosa que les voy a enseñar es algo con el flashbang. Uh, muchos saben que cuando les tiran el flashbang en Red de la Colina, siempre, lo, siempre abusan esa granada en Red de la Colina. So, cuando... Cuando te, por ejemplo, cuando estás flashed, siempre te harás en un push y te matan. So, en una cosa es cuando estás flash y si cambias de pared y cuando estás cambiando, si clicas la X o para hacer el roadie run y vas para atrás, vas a poder correr por atrás cuando estás flashed. So, como por ejemplo, nos tiran la granada, estamos flash, cambiamos, roadie run para atrás y te puedes salir de esa situación. Ahí va a venir todo cuando estás jugando Red Colina o si andas jugando puro GB. Ok, this next one has to do with sniper. This only works for controller. So, if you guys are, if you guys play on mouse and keyboard, this will not work for you guys. So, for example, do you guys know how in controller there's aim assist? Obviously, there's aim assist when you aim in. You could feel in a way that the aim goes a bit slow when it's around a player. Like, it's it's fast, and then as soon as you go to an enemy, it starts to slow down. So in this method is how to abuse the mechanic. This is why I don't really like seeing sniper clips on controller, because all the known players use this and it's kind of i don't know i kind of don't i'm not impressed by them i would that's how i would say it but for example i'm aiming in this way if you zoom in a locks onto their head so for example if i were to bounce turn around and hard aim it literally kills them even if he's standing still it, it doesn't really matter obviously you're not gonna hit those shots 100 percent of the time you're gonna miss them sometimes but obviously you're still gonna try to aim for their head but at the same time you try to zoom in so it locks onto their head i'm gonna play you guys a clip of my first game back on controller and you guys will see what i'm talking about and how broken that mechanic is So for example, another is he's coming at me. I'm able to do that. Obviously, you're, you're going to try to move your stick over to him, but as soon as you do, you zoom in, which will help your which the aim assist will help locate the opponent's head and you just shoot instantly and it should kill them. Actually do it. 
y esta segunda cosa que me ayuda a adivinar todo es con control nomás. No sé, eso no se puede usar con teclado, nomás con control. Ustedes saben que en el control hay aim assist, so, siempre te, el control siempre te va a estar ayudando, el juego te va a estar ayudando con el aim assist. So, mejor ya sabían de eso ustedes, pero con el sniper hay una manera de abusar. Si estoy apuntando cerca de, el, de Lonnie y cuando pongo el zoom in, va directo en la cabeza. So, como en esas cosas, siempre lo veo, apunto para arriba y cuando voy arriba cambio, hago el zoom in para que se ponga en la cabeza. Ahorita voy a poner un clip de cómo era mi primera vez del día jugando con control y me saqué un clip bueno con el sniper y les voy a enseñar cómo se abusa el aim assist. 